Aquarius, you are up for the August Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. I'm recording this in the middle of July because I'm trying to get all the August readings up for the general, the love, and the money. Regardless of whether you listen to this reading or any of my other ones, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just the person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Let's go ahead and hop right on into it. May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear for August? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Wow. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Aquarius, August is going to be a really good month for you. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Bottom of the deck is forgiveness and understanding. So maybe you need to forgive someone and understand, or either someone needs to forgive you and understand. Um, First card that came out is Sacred Plan. So... There's something divine happening here with the plan. Second card is a yes. So you're getting a yes to something, which I'm sure connects to the sacred plan (laughs) as well. And then also the third card that came out is blessings and abundance. Blessings and abundance. So you have sacred plan, yes, blessings and abundance. But... Under on the outskirts of it, forgiveness and understanding. So there's something where either you need to practice forgiveness and understanding or someone that you're dealing with needs to practice that or both of you need to practice that is what it needs to be. But again, sacred plan, yes, blessings and abundance. All right, let's go ahead and take some cards right quick. May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? Energy for Aquarius for August. Energy for Aquarius for August. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Knight of Wands energy. So this is about taking action. Also, it can be about traveling too. Um, Knight of Wands can sometimes be inconsistent as well, but definitely has a lot of passion. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Whoa, those just really fell out. Ace of Cups. So this is water energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, this is like, how many cards is this? Five cards that fell out. Um, they all fell out in the reverse. I'm more than likely not taking them. But I will read them to you. I have the Lovers. I have the Seven of Swords. I have the Three of Swords. Ugh. I have the Two of Cups and I have the Six of Swords. There's some type of past cycle here that you may be hung up on or that you are 
looking to let go of, but maybe the other person isn't. I honestly feel Aquarius like you are hung up on somebody or something. Because, again, all of these fell down in reverse, and all of these cards are related. The Lovers, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, which it could be about... Seven of Swords could be about deception. Um, three of Swords can be about heartache. And then you have um, the Two of Cups, which is about partnership as well. You have these here. And then you have the Six of Swords, which is about moving away from something. These are in the reverse. I feel... That and also lovers can be about choice too. You could have been dealing with the Gemini, or you could have been dealing with another air sign with all of these swords here. Um, cups is, is water energy. This is a mixture of things. It's like the energy that someone may have been in, whether it's you or the other person or both. You're no longer in that energy in the sense of if you were in seven of swords energy, three of swords energy, you may not be in that anymore. Or they may not be in that anymore. Six of swords energy, which is still holding on to the cycle. The lovers obviously reverse. Where it, the relationship did not work out or either a choice was made. But you regret a choice that was made. Actually, that is what I just heard. You regret a choice that was made. Which is why, Six of Swords, you're holding on to it. I'm going to set these to the side. I want to take some more cards. You want a new beginning, Ace of Cups. Or either a new beginning is being offered to you. And it may be unexpected. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Eight of Swords. Lots of... Good God! <laughs> Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Messages. There might be some spying going on. Again, Eight of Swords. This came out... Aquarius, your energy from some of the previous readings is just about the same. Whatever this is, I feel like you are hung up on this situation or this person. I really, really do. And you two probably haven't spoke for a while. If it's involving an individual. You might have been spying on them or they might have been spying on you. But with this Eight of Swords here, this is letting me know that there's been some type of isolation. And then the Page of Swords plus the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Swords. There's been sleepless nights. Someone regrets their decision that they made. Again, going back to the lovers, because don't forget... The lovers was originally the choice card about making a choice. Someone regrets the choice that they made. Is what's happening. There's some type of sacred plan involved. There's a yes coming in. I feel that is going to be related to this Ace of Cups. Which is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. And then also blessings and abundance. I'm going to take one more card. Let me see. May I have another card, please? Thank you. Yeah, eight of coins. Somebody wants to work on something. Someone wants to work on something. So this is Earth Energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I really do feel... It probably will work out. It's very interesting. The High Priestess is at the bottom. Um, there hasn't been much communication. What's under the High Priestess? Another Ace. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Coins. And then under that is the Nine of Cups. Which is Wish Fulfillment. And under that is the Justice. So... I feel it will work out. It's just going to take time. Is what it's going to be. It's going to take time. This is more than likely part of a sacred plan. But you have a yes here. And you have blessings and abundance. So. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm titling this regretting a choice that was made. Because that's the energy I'm picking up. 
All right, so that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.